This is Lauren from Doodle IT, and I'll be talking about the Internet Protocol Suite, or the TCP IP model, and how it relates to the Internet and similar computing networks. The TCP IP model is a set of communications protocols that were developed by the Department of Defense and released in 1974. As you may know, a network protocol is a set of rules governing how data is exchanged in a network. When it comes to network protocol, the TCP IP model is like the official rulebook. It has end-to-end -end knowledge on how data should be packetized, addressed, transmitted, routed, and received. Without the TCP IP protocol, most computers wouldn't even know where to begin when it comes to sending your best friend a picture of your cat. But how can we hope to understand the TCP IP rulebook? Well, smart people from around the world have separated the protocol into four distinct layers and creatively called it the four-layer model. The layers are the application layer, the transport or TCP layer, the internet or IP layer, and finally the network interface. Let's go a little more in detail about these layers now. First is the application layer. This one is the easiest to understand because if you're watching this video on YouTube, you're on the application layer right now. Simply put, the application layer contains all programs such as web browsers and web servers that exchange information. Its job is simply to send files and information to the transport or TCP layer to be, well, transported. Now, the transport or TCP layer of the four layer model really doesn't care what the application layer has just sent it. It's only interested in how the information sent is going to get to its desired location. It's at this time that information is packetized. The transport layer of the TCP IP protocol cannot send the information in its fully assembled form because it's just too big and too complex. So the transport layer's job is to break down the information into smaller parts called packets, and they're only really one kilobyte in size. Then these tiny packets of information are sent to the internet or IP layer. The internet or IP layer only deals with these things called IP addresses. An IP address is similar to the address for your house. It is the exact location where a specific network can be found. The internet or IP layer is interested in addressing each tiny packet with the proper destination and then sending it on its way using the proper network interface. The network interface is the central hub where all information in the immediate area passes through. This is what Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and DSL are. Without a way for the packetized information to travel, no information would ever be shared. Now, this may all sound a little confusing still, so let's apply this to a scenario. Imagine, for instance, that you're trying to send a puzzle you've already completed to your friend through the mail. When you take the finished puzzle to your local post office, this is the application layer. When you're at the post office, the postal worker decides it's easier to send each puzzle piece individually than it would be to try to send the puzzle completely intact. And so they disassemble the puzzle and package those small pieces. This is the transport or TCP layer. Now that each individual puzzle piece is smaller, it's sent to the back room of the post office and stamped on each box is your friend's specific address. This is the internet or IP layer. Next, another worker looks at each address that's been stamped and puts it into a specific truck in order to be delivered. This truck is the network interface. It is how information is moved between different IP addresses. Once the truck delivers the packets, your friend receives each puzzle piece and reassembles it in order to see the final picture. The four layer model is being used constantly whenever you're on the internet. It allows you to print remotely, share images with friends, and so much more. While you may not be sending any completed puzzles to friends in the future, hopefully this video helped you to gain a clearer image of what is happening inside your computer in regards to the TCP IP protocol. Thanks for watching us here on Doodle IT. We'll see you soon.